Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this piano accompaniment lesson, we are going to learn the song Stand By Me by Benny King and we are going to learn how to play it in five different styles. Each of these five styles will go through chords in pretty much both hands but more specifically the bass line which plays through the chord tones, the iconic bass line. Pum, pum, pararum, pum, pararum. That bass line is what we are going to play on our pianos. The left hand is going to learn the bass riff. The right hand is going to learn a variety of chord patterns which I am going to build up from almost ground zero if you call it. And from there on we are going to get to something very cool and stuff which I have composed. Five variations which I'm sure you'll enjoy. And the main intention of this lesson is, yes, to figure out different ways of accompanying this song in five different ways. But in turn, or while doing this, you're also going to build up your hand independence, your coordination by playing a bass line here, which is among the tougher things to do when you look at your two hands, playing a bass line here and anything along with that in the right hand, be it a melody or a chord pattern or whatever. So let's get cracking with the lesson. Before we do, it'll be great if you could get your keyboards out and play along with me. That's how the lessons generally work on our channel, where you play along and I slow it down, I break it down. So keep your keyboards on and a book and a pen, pap paper, pencil, whatever, whatever works to write stuff down. You can also consider heading over to our Patreon page where all the five variations are notated and also available as MIDI alongside the PDF as usual. So using the MIDI, you can import it into an app like Synthesia or any MIDI playback karaoke app or DAW software and actually see the notes which I've played. So we'll first learn the bass line. The bass line is counted using eighth note. So you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. But you're not going to play one and two and you're not going to play every single note of the eighth notes. You're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and so let's get that. One and two and three and four and one. And the first one is staccato as I'm hearing in the song with the double bass rendition. One and two and three. And then you have a long one. One and two and. And of the what? Two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and three so that's pretty much how you count every note will align with one and two and three and four and you could also argue we are in an eighth note or you know dividing by two grid which is easily practiced using one and two and three and four and or maybe carnatically you can say uh, taka, taka, taka. so you're that gives you a sense some sense that you're dividing the beats into two units as you count your pulse one and two and three and four one so let's break that down you can even look at the notation as i play then i'll walk you through the chords etc one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three okay and one and two and three That's your chord loop. So A, A, and I hope you're getting my fingering. I'm starting with the thumb on A. A, A, Pa, Ba, A, 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 G sharp, F sharp. Pa, Ba, F sharp. Pa, Ba, E. Ta, Da, E, E. Ta, Da, A. I'm playing E with my ring finger. So A, A. Don't forget the second A or the second hit in the bar has to be played longer. Hit, long hit, pa ba hit, long hit. Short hit is staccato. Represented with that dot you see there. Pa ba bum, pa ba bum. And just to walk you through the chords, in fact, I'd, I'd like to now come in with our first right hand accompaniment style, which is not really a great style. It's just where 
we play block chords or the actual chords of the song and you just hold it at the rate of one hit every bar like a semi brief so it'll go something like a major mm, cha da a major mm, pa da f sharp minor mm, cha f sharp mm, pa da d mm, mm, e dum dum a mm, pa da a and it's always nice as you're practicing the chord shifting even if you don't get your left hand with the right hand imagine the left hand or sing the left hand that can be very helpful so pum pum pa ba pum hit pum pa ba f sharp pum pa f sharp pum pa ba d pa do ba e pum pa da e A. This is on the A major scale. So the A major scale is A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp diminished, A major. So now the chords used in Stand by Me are two bars of A, 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 F sharp minor, F sharp minor, D major, E major, A major. A major. Now, to play these chords, we use inversions, which are just closed shapes. You can see the notes where it's all written down. So, A A major will be A C sharp E. Then I'm just moving this middle finger to F sharp. A C sharp F sharp. Then A D F sharp. Then I'm sliding both all my fingers up to B E G sharp and ending on. C sharp E A and then maybe come back to A C sharp E because you have to create the loop. So, mm, ba ba one two three four one two bars of each chord. We start with block chords. Da da D T M T N E T M T I E T M Ba da E T P U M Da da Na T E Da Na E Na 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 F sharp, mm, mm, F sharp, ba da 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 d, ba da d, e by me, boom. Oh darling, darling, stay, boom, ba ba boom, boom, ba ba boom, boom. F sharp, ba boom, F sharp, boom, ba ba boom, d, which we are eventually going to play in our right hand. As I told you earlier, try to focus on the bass line. So before you actually bring the bass line into the party, try to sing the bass line, as well as sing the melody. You know, with the lyrics, or if you don't know the lyrics, also it's fine. I don't, so I just mumble along. So you go na 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 tum pa ba bum bum. So keep the melody line and the bass line in mind as you journey through your independence. When the night tum has come tum tum da da dum and the land is dark tum tum and the moon tum is the only tum i we see tum tum da da dum okay oh darling darling stand tum ba mi tum tum oh stand tum ba mi tum tum oh stand tum stand by me tum tum da da do so once you've got the melody line singing wise with lyrics hopefully and with the uh, bass line let's now bring the bass line together remember you're playing very simple semi breves in the right hand so the right hand's not going to challenge us that much it's more the left hand so pom pom pa da da play the bass line which we learned hum pom change the chords din din pe da ro that's variation 1 guys dum bum bum dum dum du 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 and the land is dark dum de de du and the moon is the only light i see din dalin stand by me dum bum bum play along Stand, boom, 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 boom. 
by me tum tere do okay so now let's get a bit more fancier in the right hand with variation 2 with variation 2 i would encourage you to do almost whatever i in variation 2 i would encourage you to do pretty much what i say in all of my lessons when it comes to bass hand independence play whatever you have to play in the left hand but support it in the right hand with a steady rock solid pulse so 1 2 3 4 keep that going so earlier we did 3 4 rather easy just your semi breves now we are doing pom 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 just a simple set of crotchets pom pom parara maybe a good challenge would be to first sing the bass line and then with the piano just to see where the alignment issue is with your voice it's easy to tell if something's getting messed up pom pom parara pom parara pa pa pom you can find exactly where the off beats are parara pa That's the second variation. I'm calling it staccato pulse. It'll be very tough to, at least for me, to sing the melody while you're doing a chord pattern, a bass line, and trying to sing the melody. But if you're one of those people who wants to juggle it all together. go for it actually even i am going to try doing it uh, i can sing it but i need more practice i feel so tum tum pararum pum pararum and the land is dark tum pararum there we go that's variation 2 variation 1 semi breves variation 2 pulsing variation 3 is what i call as clock arpeggios reminding me of the song cold uh, clocks by cold play for which there's a lesson you can check it out in the description so clocks will the the rhythm pattern is very similar to right so we're taking same uh, inversions but this pattern and a good way to count it also in india we can say some konakol phrases like tak it tak it tak tak it tak it tak tak it helps us to feel the accents Three, one, two, three, one, two. Even though that's a bit grammatically wrong, rhythmically speaking, it's okay. You can see whatever works for you. So I have two more. I would say, I guess, more intermediate patterns. One rhythmically cool, the other harmonically cool. So stay tuned. If you feel this is a a, a fair amount of information for you, great. You can continue practicing these variations, but at least watch the remaining two so to give you some push forward and i always encourage students now maybe you feel you can get these three variations but i always encourage students to punch a bit above their weight to 
to reach out for things which you may not get right now but if you keep trying it or if you keep imagining yourself doing it and repeatedly practicing it you will definitely get there so have two or three things which are within your wavelength of skill and then try and push a bit more forward so variation 4 would be the flamenco pattern as i call it which goes something like this so you're using 16th notes in the right hand 1 e and a 2 e and a tang ta tum pam 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 just that first beat has the 16 or also i could call it as a gallop tang ta tang 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 ta tang 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 ta tang 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 ta tang 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 very similar to the old arpeggio i'm just adding that tang ta tang 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 and as a variation you can also go tang ta tang in the top pinky with the octave if you can or if you want otherwise you can just stick with what what has been notated changing So probably a good practice would be just do it over one chord to get this stuff really well oiled. I'm just doing A major. Just loop that for yourself. Slow it down. So if you'll figure out where the collision or where the problems are occurring in the independence world. maybe there or maybe at the end okay and then let's do the other chord actually the f sharp is easier because he just does tum do the ta ra ra going to the next one to the pinky for additional flavor to get m- more out of the arpeggio so that's your flamenco folk arpeggio system which i have for you and now i have something melodic which can ca- can kind of augment what the melody of the song is doing ba 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 some sort of like a horn section or a string quartet you know playing in arrangement with the uh, main lead tune so let's now do like a melodic variant with the same old bass line that will be variation 5 and then we pack up the lesson the first two bars would be just that so a with fifth e and then the inside note of the chord c sharp la 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 then la 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 then ta ra ra it's a harmonic embellishment da 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 then la da 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 so a lot of these third third movements which are very melodic i think it supports the tune so again le ra re le ra re ra da da la da and then la da 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 to a te ro re te ro re with the bass maybe you want to get that first le ra re le ra re ta ra ra le ra le ra ra which i 
everything is quite melodic let's do that a bit slowly see the notation guys the notations ava- are available on our patreon page all five of them along with midi so Which one I like more, the fourth one or the fifth one? Let us know in the comments what you thought about each pattern, what you found difficult, easy, or what you thought about the lesson in general. And if you like what you just learned, please give us. <clears throat> and if you like what you just learned, please hit like on the video. Leave us a comment what you thought about the lesson and what you'd like to learn next. Maybe you could suggest a song, and we'll figure it out. An interesting way to kind of dissect. yet another song which has been covered on our youtube channel i look forward to that don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell icon for regular notifications so you don't miss out on any of our lessons and this is stand by me in five variations and i am jason zack from nathaniel school of music cheers and thanks for watching